Hey guys, it's Sam. So I just finished filming my foundation routine video and I kind of want to do a face, well, cheek, lip, eye look that I've been wearing lately. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an eye primer and I'm going to be trying out my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'll let you guys know in a later video if I like this. I got this as a sample from Sephora. You might be able to still get it if you're a VIB member at Sephora. Just ask them at the counter if they have any left of the Valentine's Day NARS gift. And if they do, they will give them to you. That's what I did. Because um, I wasn't a VIB member around Valentine's Day, like I said before. So they gave it to me, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. And I've been wanting to try one that doesn't dry out my eyelids. Because for some reason, most of them really do. So after I've done that, I'm going to let that dry for a second. And I've already gone ahead and filled in my eyebrows. I did that in my foundation routine, so if you want to see how I do that, um, I'll link off to it in the boxy thing somewhere on the screen here. And I use my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo for that. And I love this thing. Like, I've had this thing four months now, and I use this every day. And I haven't hit pan even on the side I use all the time, which is this one. Um, I use this one mainly. Unless I'm going for a darker brow, which I don't typically do. Or I dye my hair darker, which I have done before. So, it kind of depends. So, after I let that set, I'm going to use a lot of Makeup Geek eyeshadows for this tutorial. So, and I'm going to show you guys what brushes I've also been using. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this peachy color right here. This is called Purely Naked. I'm going to take this on a flat shader brush. This is the Sigma E55. And I'm just going to sweep this all the way across my lid, giving me a nice peachy base. Let me flip my mirror around so I'm a little bit more magnified. Whoa! I do not like being that magnified. It's a little scary. So I'm going to go ahead and sweep that all over the other lid as well. I'm just coating the lid. I'm kind of staying out of the crease right below it. Then I'm going all over my lid. Then taking another flat shader brush, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Vanilla Bean, which is kind of a matte vanilla shade. And I'm going to use this as my brow highlight. I like to use matte brow highlights for the majority, and then I'll show you what I do. So I'm going to take this all over, kind of up under my entire brow. And then I'm going to take this color right here, which I put in my other palette for some reason. This color right here is Shimmer Shimmer. It's my favorite highlight shade ever. And I use a small pencil brush, so the E30 from Sigma. Oh, and this flat shader brush is just a Too Faced one. I'm going to return my Too Faced set of brushes if I can, because one of them has fallen apart, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So I'm just going to take a little bit, kind of tap it off, and then right under the arch of my eyebrow, I just apply a little bit of the shimmer and I blend it out like that and then I'm going to also take this shimmery color to the inner corner and kind of blend it over the inner fourth of my lid so I take it a little bit under and then over the inner so then I'm going to take this matte color it's called Latte this is a warm brown now all the colors I'm using are warmer brown. I'm taking a tapered blending brush. This is the one from Too Faced, that set that I was telling you about. And I'm just working this back and forth into my crease. This is just going to add a little bit of definition and I'm going all the way in so you guys can see here. When I blend this, I'm going all the way into the inner corner. Because I really wanted to find that. And you can see the light's going to be changing a lot on my face. So sorry about that. I'm going to take a fluffier blending brush. This is the E25 from Sigma. It's my favorite blending brush ever. I'm going to go in this matte color right here. For the most part, the eyes are matte, but I'm going to show you like the trick to it at the end. So this is just kind of a matte, a little bit deeper brown, and I'm just going to take this right in the outer corner. You can see I'm just kind of dotting it on at first. So I get most of the pigmentation right here. And then I'm using the rest to sweep inward. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smudger brush, and this is the brush that's broken. Oh, there it is. So, here's the brush from Too Faced. You can see when I tap on it, it goes into the brush. So I have to like pull it out constantly. It's really annoying. But I'm going to take that mocha color again. I'm going to get a little on there. 
and then I'm just going to drag this under the inner three quarters of my bottom lash line just to kind of define my eye. I'm not going to add any liner down there so I want it to be a little bit more defined. Alright, so after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup Forever Owl, <laughs> I need my elbow, um, Aqua Eyes Eyeliner, you can see it, it's not sharpened, but it doesn't really need to be because I'm just tight lighting with this. Um, this is in the matte black shade, and I really like this for tight lighting, it makes it a lot faster than using like a gel liner. So I'm just going right underneath my lashes and rubbing this into the vase. So this would be where I would stop if I was doing this for a daytime, office appropriate look, but I don't really abide by any rules since I'm a nanny. The kids don't really care as long as they don't look creepy. I can pretty much wear whatever. And I'm on vacation. So I'm going to go ahead and do some little bit pops of shimmer and stuff. So I'm going to take... That same palette I was using before, it's basically all my favorite favorite neutral shadows from Makeup Geek. I'm going to take this gold right here, which is called Gold Digger, and I'm just going to pack this right on the center of my lid, just to give a little pop of gold. Just on the center, center, just on the center. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Aqua Liner, and this is in the shade 1. It's the gold one, so I'm going to shake it really well looks so weird shaking it. It's got a brush liner. I've been trying this out and I want to show you guys this. So look at the back of my hand. If you watched my haul video, that was filmed on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So that was close to 72 hours ago I filmed that video. Those swatches that I did in that video are still there. Freaking crazy. Like they're still there. It's just amazing. So what I do with this basically is I just kind of paint it in the inner tear duct area of my eye. So just kind of paint it. And you can just use your finger to clean it up. It wipes away really easy before it sets, which I like about it. And then I take a little bit and I just go right in the inner corner. So kind of make that little horseshoe. A little bit of my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black. Again on an angled E65 brush. Just put a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to tap this into the top of my lashes. Staying really close to the lash line. This is just to make them look a little bit thicker since I'm not doing as much liner as I normally do. See, I just tap that into my lash line. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to use my Tarte Eyelash Curler. And someone had asked me for a demo on the benefit they're real. So I'm going to do it in this video really quick. This video is going to be freaking long. Oh well, it's good. So this is my little small sample size, which I recommend getting because mascara is such a personal thing. Like for what works for some people's lashes doesn't work for other people's lashes. So I recommend getting the sample. It's ten dollars at Sephora. Here's the one. So I'm gonna do one eye real quick. So I have curled my lashes. I always curl them, and I really like this mascara. I've been wearing it the last three days, and it's the one mascara that does not transfer throughout the day. So you can see it makes me have super like whew, lashes. Like it looks like I'm wearing false lashes. I really like this mascara. So you can see the difference between this eye with no just curl and then this eye with mascara on. And I really like this mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye real quick. For my cheeks. I'm going to move quickly now to this part. I'm going to take this blush right here, which is a Tarte Amazonian clay blush in Peaceful. I'm going to take it on my Sigma Large Angled Contour, the F40. And I'm just going to sweep this right onto the apples of my cheeks and then blend upwards. This is my favorite blush of all time. I use this probably almost a daily basis. Um, 
and this winter it's exposed and in the spring, which I'm convinced it is now, it is peaceful. It's the perfect peachy pink. Then I'm going to take, I take, and this is kind of funny, I take the side of this brush right here. So this is the Tarte blush brush and I take the side of it and I dip it into my contour shade which is the Tarte Matte Proof matte waterproof bronzer. I use a lot of Tarte cheek products because they don't break out my cheeks and I have pretty sensitive cheeks. NARS made me break out in hives so this is a lot better than breaking out in hives and it doesn't affect my skin at all. It like, really works well on my skin. So that is it for the cheeks. So the blush and peaceful and then the contour. And I'm not going to use the highlighter because I have oily skin so I don't really need it. But if you did want to, I love the Balm Mary Lou Manizer. I'm going to take my YSL Glossy Stain in shade number 7. Which is the hardest shade to find in my opinion. I cannot. I did drive two hours to San Francisco to find it. I just kind of. It has the weirdest consistency. It goes on. Like it's a water, like it's water, and then it thickens up pretty instantaneously. It's it's seriously the weirdest consistency. If you're at the store, try it on your hand and then wait a couple seconds and you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is my peachy glow springtime look, with coral lip, peachy blush, and kind of gold sparkly eyes. So I hope you guys like this look. I'm gonna really have to edit down this video because it's gonna be pretty long if I don't, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any requests for more tutorials or reviews on any products I use, please let me know below. Thanks.